Like this session would be a very uh, quick rundown of 20 minutes about one of the software development methodology that we follow at our organization and along with the particular case study, how it was executed to one of the project. So, but before that, like, you know, getting onto the uh, case study or the business problem, the project, I just want to give you a brief introduction of why do we, why we have gone for this kind of methodology and what is the need of it. Like predominantly, we are also following Agile or the Scrum in most of our project, but at the same time, like, you know, why we have gone or thought about, like, you know, just doing something on top of that and build a methodology that will give a little bit more advantage to us. Just let's have a look at it. So when we look at the industry, actually, like, you know, we have very defined processes. We have many things. Many good things are there in the industry, but still, why do we need to have something else? Like we have defined processes, different practices, CMMI, ISO, we have Lean Startup, we have Agile Philosophy, and the different methodologies. <coughs> but still, like we do have the stringent uh, development and the management review practices, etc. But still, when you look at the reality, these are all we have it. But when you look at the reality, we still have the failures, we still have our, most of our projects are challenged, some way or the other, or like, you know, they have failed. We don't get the outcome, what is expected. We might get the output. Compliance, our projects are compliance to the requirement. We build exactly what it is asked for. But still, we don't get the expected outcomes as the projects were intended for. Many times we get the poor user experience, like you know the user experience, whatever we are expecting or the supposed to get, the like you know we don't get that user experience. Customers are not happy, and so and so forth. So then, just to get rid of to some of this, or at least to minimize this, as we all uh, understood that understand that like you know we cannot get rid of the uh, like you know all the negative things, right? With a one methodology or one approach or anything, but at least if we can improve a little bit towards that. So we started a uh, little bit doing a little bit analysis. So how to improve the experience? Experience from the perspective of the end user who is going to use my product or the services or the like a project we are building, or the experience of my employee, like you know whoever is building the that particular product. So what can be done to improve that particular experience or be it end user or your own employee? And we started like, you know, just uh, going through the different industry research or the trend, the way the industry is progressing and uh, like, you know, the major trend.